What is going on, my Bob Nation? I am Bob's Battle Jordan, and I am here with another video. And finally, I have the third part of my three match series between my Raikou Magnezone and my Houndoom, Mega Houndoom, Garbodor deck. And as you can see, probably already noticed, the video is shorter than the last one, which means that. Um, it's going to be a quicker game, and that one of the decks is going to dominate more. Uh, we see that I just got a mulligan as I'm playing on the right, and my opponent is playing on the left, just like the other previous two matches. Um, so we'll take the, mul the mulligan card for that. So again, the mulligan can be very helpful. We'll see what comes off of that, that mulligan there. But uh, yeah, the series is tied 1-1 both ways. I won the first match and my opponent won the second, so I get to choose what uh, turn I guess I get to go first, so I, I decided to go first obviously. Um, so I'm going to look through my second hand here and it doesn't look very good. I mean, I've got a Sycamore, but I've got a couple supporters in my hand. I'll get a Pokemon down, get a basic Pokemon and I'll set my prizes up. So let's we'll see what we've got here. Here goes the Shanshake, and I will be able to do start first. So we've got an Entei. Not the best Pokemon to start with, really. Could be better. Uh, but, I mean, you could always start with a Trubbish. That's the worst Pokemon. Oh, actually, the Shaman would be the worst. Or, or Hoopa. No, I don't know. It, it's difficult. Shaman's pretty bad. Hoopa's pretty bad, too. So I'm just going to use Sycamore, and it's not the best hand, because I am just discarded both my uh, Garbodor. So I'm going without a Garbodor this game. I just decided that I couldn't sit and wait trying to get a, get a Garbodor, you know, on the field or get something to shuffle those cards back into my deck. Just couldn't do it. So I'm just going to get a new hand. I do have a Spirit Link. I'm going to attach an energy to the Entei and pass my turn. So my opponent does have a Shaman in his hand here. are going to have to... Is that a Shaman or is that a Lugia? No. If my... Oh, okay, it's a Lugia. I thought it was a Shaman. I just made him a little bit of a mistake there. I thought if, if it was a Shaman, they would have had to find a way to get some rid of some of the cards in his hand so we could actually draw. But we'll get a Shauna here. Not even playing any of the cards down. Must have been a pretty bad hand for him as well. You can see a float stone in my hand, so not going to be you know, worth much right now as I don't need it anymore. Could use it always for a shaman or hoopa if I need to though. So we'll see what my opponent gets off of this hand here. We're gonna cut his deck and here comes his five cards. He needs to get a an attacker out. He'd probably get a Raikou in there. There's the Raikou right there. And I also see a Magnezone in his hand, so that's a good five cards considering Shauna can get you pretty much anything. It could be really bad or it could be really good. Uh, I like it better than Birch personally. Um, that some people like Birch better. I just think it's the consistency of five cards is better considering that I get bad flips. I have the most inconsistent flips. Like I could flip heads on Birch for an entire game and I could flip tails the whole time. So I just, I'm not consistent with a flip. And really, it shouldn't be because it's a flip, but it can be for some people, and it just isn't for me. Um, but I'm going to grab a Hoopa, grabbing a Shaman, and it appears to be two Houndoom EXs. No, I'm not going to grab a Mega. But the Shaman's going to be nice because now I'll be able to uh, get some, draw some cards into my hand. Making sure I really shuffle my deck up good after I had that really bad hand for that first turn. The shuffling is so important. So, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Maybe, I don't know, really. Um, but if I do end up playing this Pokemon now, I will want to bench the Houndooms first and then go to the Shaman because I can draw more cards that way. It's always the best play. So 
so you still don't know what I'm talking about in this right now. I've got a spear link in my hand. Maybe I've attached that. So attach a spear link to there. That's what I should, yep. So I'm gonna attach a spear link to the Houndoom. Floatstone to yeah, the Hoopa. Use as many of these cards as I can. Can I attach energy? Or did I already do that? This is only turn this is this is turn three for me. Should they should I don't know, maybe not. So draw three cards. Not really anything that great. Just grab another spirit link. I've got some more cards in my hand though. I grab the life standard it appears. And I'm just going to use my uh, first attack off on my Entei, which just does 30 damage, but it gives it a 30 damage buff. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to hit. And my opponent's going to use Shauna again. So I will be able to take out the Magnemite next turn if my opponent does not retreat into the Raikou, which would be very annoying. Because Raikou does have that buff of 20 damage. Only if, though, if it has that metal or lightning energy attached. And that's exactly what my opponent destroyed. So he'll probably go to attach the metal energy or lightning energy to that Raikou. Looks like he has a Juniper in his hand as well. And he's just going to pass. So I've got an Ultra Ball in my hand. I could Ultra Ball for a Mega Houndoom, get that ready. So when my opponent does knock out this Entei, I can just be ready to go with a Mega Houndoom. And that looks like it's what I'm going to be going for. Then I'm going to be discarding a Fire Energy and a Lysander. And that way I can start getting that one with an Energy and ready to go as well. So we'll see that go on to the Houndoom. Attach energy to the Houndoom EX and then evolve. Oh, I, gra I had two in my hand. Okay, well that makes sense. So I'm going to evolve twice with the Mega Houndoom. I did not see that I had the other one. I'm gonna. It looks like I've got the Fighting Fury Belt. Attach that to the Entei. I've got a Blacksmith in my hand so I can always play that um, next turn and put two energy onto the Mega Houndoom that does not have any energy on it right now. I'll take my first prize for taking out the Magnemite. So now this uh, Houndoom is going to have, or the, sorry, the the Entei rather, it's going to have a large uh, buff right now. It's just going to kind of be able to, to kind of sit there in a wall. My opponent's going to use a Juniper, which was kind of a misplay for him. He should have actually played the Ultra Ball, discarded some cards got a Pokemon um, that's not really the best for him he's got a robo sub so he's got that he's just gonna retreat into a robo sub and wall that all all that does for me is all it does for him really is just give him an extra turn but he should he that was a big misplay though he should have played that ultra ball and searched for a Pokemon and this game isn't really going well for him because I've already got my two megas out and I can just start getting ready to use those. And he still hasn't gotten his Magnezone out at all. I'll attach the Burning Energy to the Houndoom. Mega Houndoom, rather. So that one can get ready to go. And I do have a Blacksmith, so I can use that and attach two energy, if I have it in the discard pile, to the Mega Houndoom. It looks like I'm just going to pass. Uh, well, not pass, but I'm going to use my first attack and knock out the Robo Sub. Passing would be very bad. Um, he's going to attach another Lightning Energy to the Raikou. And I'm in a really good position here. I could kind of just sit on this if I wanted to. And he's going to play another Sycamore or Juniper. Discarding, ooh, two rare candies and a Lightning Energy. Yeah, it's not good. Um, let's see what he's got in his hand. He needs to get a Pokemon if he wants to survive. 
You know, it doesn't look like he has anything. He should have Ultra Balled, and he could have grabbed a Lugia or something. I mean, it would have only stalled him another two turns or something, but I don't think he hasn't done an ounce of damage to me this whole game. So we'll see. Looks like he's just going to pass the turn here. Probably. So I'm going to take my, draw my card. And all I need to do is retreat out of this Entei, go into the Mega Houndoom, and just obliterate it for 160. And that is pretty much it for this three-way match thing. I guess you can call it as a three-way match. Um, three video match that we played is more of a tournament um, Swiss style um, videos here because instead of just a one game where you know the winners decided on that it's best two out of three um, we didn't play in timed but that would be a little insane but um, we you know played the best two out of three there and that's pretty much it for this video. Slap that like button if you like this series. I want to know if you want more like this where I just do a best two out of three of the match like this. Or if I, you want me to do something more like just a one match. Like a, kind of like a league play. Um, and, you know, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll have a video up. On, I want to get my uh, opened up a Elite Trainer box. And I want to get that video up on Monday. This will be going up on this is going up on Saturday. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later in the next video.